My name is Susanna, and I am an osteosarcoma bone tumor survivor. Although bone tumors are one of the most common cancer amongst teenagers, it took quite a long time for me to get correctly diagnosed. One day, on my way home from school, I suddenly felt an acute stabbing pain in the bone of my left lower leg. It was so sore that I could not take the next step. I was 16. I remember like it was yesterday. I had to wait a couple of minutes before the pain subsided and just stood on the steps not knowing what to do, as I could not put any pressure on my left leg and could not get home. After a while, the pain subsided. When I got home and told my family what had happened, they asked me where the pain was. My simple answer was, it feels like it is in my bone. They didn't believe me and told me a bone cannot hurt. After a few days, the continuous strange feeling in my leg bone disappeared completely. By the time I managed to get an appointment with an orthopedist around two weeks later, I felt no discomfort anymore. Despite this, the specialist prescribed a diagnostic test called a scintigraphy to be done. The result showed slightly higher activity in the region where I had felt the pain. They asked me to come back for an annual checkup. My orthopedist at home didn't take any of it seriously and reassured me that my pain had been caused by a slight difference in the length of my legs and prescribed orthopedic shoe inserts. Like all of us do, I trusted him and totally forgot to go for my annual checkups as I no longer felt any pain. Then suddenly, two and a half years later, the pain was back for no obvious reason at all. At first, I only felt pain when I carried something heavy. But later, I also felt pain when lying on my bed doing nothing. The GPs and specialists could not reach the diagnosis as they could not see anything on the x-ray. A few days later, I also noticed swelling. My orthopedist tried to reassure me and said that it might just be water on the knee due to all the sports I did and that I should not worry. The swelling got worse and the pain intensified so much so that it no longer responded to the painkillers I was taking. I started running a fever on the most days and was limping, but there was still nothing to observe on the x-ray or on the ultrasonic images. Finally, my father insisted that I see a specialist in a large university hospital located in the city where they decided to do an MRI. The results indicated a tumor. After that, everything went pretty fast. I had a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and to determine the type of tumor I had. Finally, I was told I had osteosarcoma, bone cancer. After a few weeks, all the results came in and within a few days, I had started my chemotherapy at the children's hospital. Fortunately, the tumor had no spread and I was able to finish my intensive therapy after 14 exhausting months. These are some key questions asked by the specialist to help identify a bone tumor. Have you hurt yourself? Are you an athlete or a sporty person? When did you first feel pain in your leg? For how long have you been feeling constant pain? Can you explain what kind of pain it is? What tests have you had to investigate the pain? When did the swelling start? How frequently do you get fever and how high is it? Does pain medication relieve the pain? If yes, for how long? The normal examination procedure is to do an X-ray of a bone, which often shows no significant results. The pain persisted, therefore he proposed an MRI, as these results are more reliable when suspecting a bone tumor, as you can more easily see if something is wrong. A biopsy is the only way to make sure. These are some important messages to know. Adolescents could have a bone tumor. It is important to listen to them and consider all possibilities, including cancer. Pain in the bone is possible. Even if there is nothing to be seen on x-ray, it doesn't mean that there is nothing going on. Whenever there is a pain and it's not responding to pain medication, please see a specialist. Do not ignore any kind of swelling anywhere in the body. In children and adolescents, early diagnosis of cancer leads to effective treatment and therefore better prognosis, which leads to less late effects.